Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you what Nunu Jung can do after the buffs. We're up against a Belveth, I think. Yeah, so Belveth. I'm not actually sure what she does as far as I know. She's kind of like a Warwick or a Zin Zhao. She's a heavy self-healer and has really fast autos, so. Your worst matchups on Nunu are generally mages and tanks. Lilia, super hard to play against, max health damage. She's really fast. Sejuani's hard, Volley's hard, Zach's hard. Nunu plays really well against champions. He can kite out, who can't hit him back, super strong. We're going to go ahead and mute all for our runes. We took Phase Rush with Nimbus, Celerity, Water Walking, Tenacity, Triumph, with Attack Speed, AP, and Armor. Always start red buff into wraps if you can. If you can, if they push you off of it, then just start on your blue. The reason why you do this is Raptors, you can take the fastest out of really any camp. So by doing red wraps, it sets us up to hit the fastest level 3 possible or to possibly do a gank. I'm not going to do it against Auction though. He's kind of hard to gank early on. It would not be worth it. Let me go ahead and hold on to my smite. Get that W going. After Raptors, you normally want to go for your Gromp to get level 3. Gromp gives more XP than buffs do. So if you go for your blue buff at this point, you won't get level 3 from it. And Nunu's all about level 3 double buff ganks. That is where he really shines. Level 3 double buff ganks plus ganking off Scuttles in particular. That's where he shines. Don't waste it on the wolves. Just go past them. Your W gets faster, the faster you are. So like having tier two boots, dead mans, that type of thing helps out a lot. Also it gets faster per your champion level. So the higher level you are, it's also faster, which is pretty sweet. This should burn out. Level three, two minute 33. We hit the river, we get the water walking movement speed. Then we go into our W. I almost didn't dare turn it in time because I thought she was doing an all in. Get the knock up into ease. Go ahead and chomp that. I want him to preferably get the cannon minion. But we do want to shove the wave. Now he can reset. He's half mana, half HP. He really shouldn't stay. He got the kill as well, so he's in a pretty good spot. I'm not sure if Belveth does a full clear or not. I'll have to just study that champion before I make a video on her. I assume she's not going to be here right as it spawns at 315. Most champions get here a little late. What we're going to do is Q smite it. Make sure your smite hits it before your Q finishes. So you want to be able to scrape his shield. Get the knock up and the E. Auto attack Q. And we get him with that last auto. I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure what she does. I'm going to go ahead and flash away. I am uh, not comfortable with her damage output. They're just not familiar with it. Plus, Nunu isn't that good for these type of scraps. You can take Ignite on Nunu. That's still very viable, particularly with the phase rush. Only reason I didn't is because my team already has three Ignites. And whenever your team has three or more Ignites, it's really easy to accidentally ignite someone who's already ignited or your teammates ignite someone who you already ignited. And it's really annoying. All right, she just screwed herself. Got the knock up. She's kind of fast though, like what the heck? Dude, she's bussing. There's like double dash right there. Playing some Mario Kart. Let me get back on the movement speed bonus. I think you ward the bush. I should be able to go around. I guess I could go bot. As long as you have the scuttle speed up, you don't really have the bat. Should be a double snare. Auto attack Q, auto attack, teammates weren't able to follow up. Getting one of them still really good. I want to stay on the scuttle. We might be able to go mid. Akali isn't doing any damage. She just lost half her health and he's virtually full health, so it would be stupid to stay, especially since I'm solo. First item back, you're usually looking for tier two boots Dark Sill on Nunu. We can't afford Dark Sill, so we'll grab a control ward. And we haven't taken our blue buff yet, so I guess we could go for that. I assume Vague Cage would counter Belveth. She's still chasing. So weird. I think her Raptors are up. We could go over there and take those while she's goofing around. She must have super heavy self-healing like I thought. She didn't even start with a refill. It's like almost like an 80 fiddlesticks. She doesn't even have to get a refill. 
Taking these at the same time, it's not important to do. Just taking them slightly faster with the AoE on our passive. And the burn from our jungle item, applying it to both. Auction full health. Gwen, pretty much full health. I mean, I'll try it. I don't like it though. I think this is a bad gank. I should have just gone for wraps in hindsight. Get the phase rush and run away. She wasn't ready to follow up at all on it either. Just ward in that bush. We'd be better off going bot lane. I'm not going to take it without my W. It would take too long to finish the camp. So we'll start it from a distance. That way they can't see us with the ward. By the time they do, we're all ready to be going max speed. She spell shielded it. And we do have uh, plated, so it's not going to be easy for them to actually kill us as AD style champs. That's not good. She's doing some decent damage. She went for early team at. I can stay here. I would like to finish this Krug first, though. Ah, uh, it's not going to work. The control word's st still here, too. I imagine she's on dragon right now, is what's going on. It's either that or she went for her blue buff, since that's obviously spawned in the same time I had red buff. We both started... Whoa! No, she's over here. I'll take her with me. She has got her conquer stack, so obviously she wants to fight. Uh, goodbye, friend. Down you go. Seems like you can kite her out pretty easily. She lacks hyper mobility. She does seem to have some small little jumps. Almost like an Aatrox jump or two vein tumble style dashes. I assume she's gonna go for blue buff, defend that. She might rush out for her red that just spawned. What I'll do is get Scuttle into uh, her wraps. I think that would be best. It's 50-50 right now, whether she went blue or red. Her blue was up, and her red was spawning in as she was leaving base, so she could easily be on either side. I am going to secure this because I want the XP. I'll let him have it, though. We're going to go around the control where it can't see us if we hug the wall like we just did. Knock up into E. We need to body block him here. Kali completely failed him following up. Is what it is. Oh, there's no control word here anymore. Guess we'll go top. We want to get the speed up before we press W since our W gives us the speed up through the full duration of the W itself. Hey, friend. Yeah, she should have gotten all the way back or gotten behind her turret or something. She was risking it for the biscuit. Okay, they get dragon. That means her red buffs up. She just went blue into dragon. So we'll push her wraps here. Oh, no. We'll do it here. Okay, we get the knockup. Is she able to finish? Going for the big R. Oh, my God. We're, we, dude, we took so much damage. Yeah, Belveth is intense. She seems to have so much healing. Oh my god, dude. It's so... <laughs> it really feels like fighting a Warwick. No matter how much you hit it, it's just gonna heal it off. Especially the fact that it built a team at... I'm gonna buy that champ. Scuttle's coming up. Notice how we keep playing around those. I kind of want to reset though. We're sitting on so much gold. Gwen stays, I'll stay. All right, Gwen, you forced my hand. I'm going to pinch. Show up at the same time York does. So even if she runs right when she goes, oh, wow. She's running before she even sees him. What? Did she have a deep ward in my jungle? That is very weird. Like she ran so early. There must be a deep ward in my jungle. Oh, well. We'll get our bombies. And uh, I guess we'll skip Dark Sill. It's probably for the best, anyways. Imagine we're gonna start dying in team fights. Oh, they have a lot of damage on their team.
If I get hit by Senna Snare, I'm definitely going to die. Phase Rush only helps you against slows. Senna's deep in our jungle. What a little stinker. Come on, Vagar. We got the... Ooh, I almost got this snare. I don't have damage is the thing. It's going to be hard to stay on top of him. So Belvet's a dead. Oh, okay, there's people here. I don't... Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't like that fight at all. Auction staying for some reason. We need mid shove. He can't be allowed to just meander down here. Very uh, awkward to fight that. Three range champs all pelting me with autos. Wow, he's staying. I need to get vision right here. Make sure he doesn't flank. Looks like he's re just going to reset most likely. We want to go in. When they go in for turret. Build up some speed for a control where to bush sees us. Oh, nice try, bud. I like how she soaks it and she thinks it's a good thing. Oh, wait, it was a good thing. How is Jinx that useless? What the heck? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, man, that's painful. That's really, really painful. I have a feeling I shouldn't play around my bot lane. I don't think they're my best lane. I thought it would make sense because, oh, they have a lot of CC. Belvath saw me, so I got to go for wraps. Heal up. I also made a mistake. I needed to drop W and blow her shield. I've been misplaying that interaction with the Sivir. I kind of forgot, even though I've done it so many times before. You literally just drop W in the middle and then you start using your E's. Oh, they're all here. This isn't going to work. Oh, blue smiter. Other than that, I can't help her. I don't have any damage and all my abilities are on cooldown. I can't do anything for her. So next time she goes to block it. Part of the problem, she was invisible. I wasn't really sure if she was there or not. Hopefully, I can show you guys what I'm talking about in the next W. What? This guy is such a butthole. He loves invading. Dang. I was thinking about going mid. I decided to turn it. It was too slow. Should have just gone mid with it. It's not worth giving this guy a plate. Yeah, and he got, got it too. At least we have Scuttle Crab. They even got first dragon, that's an oof. Senna's top side. Guess I'll go for dragon. Belvet's still not a full item, so she's not particularly strong. Can't imagine. Oh, gross. I need help. All right. My E's on cooldown, so I can't do that trick I was talking about against Sivir. Kali's forcing it pretty hard. She has red buff. I don't want to fight that. They're playing so heavy over here. It's insane. Their whole team's just constantly where I'm trying to gank. Oh, you're dead, Akali. Oh my god. What is this? Like, why are they even over here? <laughs> oh my goodness. My team's not over here at all. It's just Jinx. I don't trust her. She's not that good at kiting. I grab a dark slot at this point. She gets a kill. Ooh, no, she did not get a kill. She didn't inflict any damage. She did get the kill on on the Senna, though, which is pretty good. Ultimately, we're going to need to play around York, which is awkward because he's a split pusher. Cut off her route. She's got a long range, like Aatrox knockup. Vagar's not really following me either. 
follow-up is very lackluster. We gotta do farm heavier routes. She's pretty squishy. That being said, they weren't able to kill her 2 versus 1. She has 0 HP, 0 magic resist items. Leave it up to Nunu, I suppose. The tank jungler. Oh, Sivir's here. Senna's top. She doesn't have any HP items, any magic resist either. Hey, friend. Oh, you landed the snare. That's sick, dude. Wow, the exhaust was still affecting me. It was like two and a half sec Three seconds. My R channel's three seconds. So yeah, if I R, all she has to do is exhaust and it will be the full duration. That sucks, man. I mean, it's good for her. It's really bad for me. All she has to do is hold exhaust until I even start the R channel and then I'm countered by it. Belled Vest should have went straight for her red buff there. It's going to cost her. Big time. Nope. Alright, Drag Souls are win con. We need to just get fed up. If we're not ganking off of a scuttle, it's probably not worth ganking. Teammates aren't applying the pressure we need to gank without scuttles. Weird fight in the middle right now. Looks like I'll be playing top lane here for a little bit. For the Gwen, York should go top. He shouldn't even be mid right now. He can giga solo the Gwen. I was hovering just in case she stayed. That is the only reason I'm not at my Raptors by now. Heading over, there's a weird fight going on. Genius is not rotating. Call is just trying to fight one versus three. I'm hoping they don't go for my red buff. Yep, that's exactly what they're doing. This Jinx is just playing a different game. She doesn't have like any CS. She wasn't really pressured by their jungler either. She faced a very little persecution in lane. Thanks, Vagar. That was really helpful. Thanks, dude. That's so helpful. Oh, it's so helpful. When they're trying to kill me in my jungle, that is just the most helpful thing he could have done. Pulling it into the bush would force him into a bad spot. They'd have to overextend. They also can't see the HP. In hindsight, obviously, yeah, they weren't here, but we didn't know that at the time. Oh man, they got Scuttle. Dang. I think we can rush it down. I think they all backed. Vagar's pretty big. Belveth still hasn't completed an item yet. She's purchased tier 2 boots, Tiamat, and now she's going for like Shield Bow. So she's buying some very pricey side items. Somebody hit her! Got her flash, that's good. York's gonna pop off topside. He kills Auction. He's probably gonna kill Senna too. These guys can't fight a man down. Yeah, Belveth has freaking like Aatrox knockup. It's really good. We're on the way for Drag Soul. Ocean Soul and Nunu is gonna be really big. He ended up dying, but he did get a kill before he died, so it's worth. He took up a lot of pressure on the map. There's nothing for us to stay for. There's no scuttle crabs, no neutrals. Might as well bat. Definitely a Thornmel game. Their whole team is giga self-heal. Their whole team. Belveth, Giga Self Hills, Gwen, Giga Self Hills, Shield Bow, 
Senna heals plus Senna item plus Senna fleet. The only person who isn't going to be good at healing is the Sivir, and even then, she has the heal summoner spell plus AoE Senna heal. So. Thornmill's really strong here, plus they're physical damage heavy. Their only magic damage chance is really. Magic damage champ is really to Gwen, so. I don't have my W up. Ugh. We get the snare, put her in the R. I'll let York get it. <laughs> we don't really need the gold. It's not that important for us. Nunu's power spike is level 3 double buffs. Everything after that is just a bonus. Level 3 double buffs ideally with scuttle crab speed ups. Everything else is simply optional. They did put his E, like I said, they put his E on a shorter cooldown. At least I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their E, his E's on a much shorter cooldown now. After you get some levels in it. I am coming from really far away. I have four male friend, and you don't have any self healing. Did he not hit it? What? That made no sense. I guess he just hit the plant away from me and then just suicided. Oof. Cost us a smite. Dang, they get scuttle again. There's nobody here. Rip. There's nothing over here. We got our red smite. She's still not full item, man. She's building just a bunch of random nonsense. She is only three kills. She doesn't have that much CS. Big R at 99 stacks. Eh, it's not a crazy amount. I'd like to see him with around 150 by now. Got double snare. Nice try. I'm not. Ooh, I don't have flash. Got got the snare. Jinx needs to just run. She's doing no damage. All she has is one item. It's not cracking either. Even when we're low health, it's important to stay present in the fight without dying. Try to keep our teammates alive if we can. Auction's probably gonna try to kill her. Oh my god, this is so hard to turn. The pain. That speeds him up too. We can't right run that down. Our W is so slow right now. If we don't do it from river for the extra celerity of water walking, it's so bad. You can also go relentless on our secondary tree. It's a decent option. I find having the tenacity is better, especially against AD heavy teams. That way you can itemize for plated steel caps. If uh, they are magic damage heavy, then sure. Going Merc Treads is fine. So in that case, you wouldn't have to take tenacity second tr secondary tree. Got the snare, QR, goodbye. Kind of seems like a bad version of Master Yi almost. Like something like a weird in between. I can't move. They got a fat shutdown off of me too. They got 800 gold from that. Hopefully, Auction doesn't bring his teammates back to life. Dark's on the split, so he wasn't really in that fight. We took a crap load of everything. 53% physical, 20 mag 24 magic, 23% true damage. Oof. And we go for mogs here, or Vistage. We're only taking so much magic damage. I think we go for mogs or Zhonya's. I think so. I think that's the move. 
Well, W from base for maximum movement speed. I think it's more maximized if you use it halfway from base rather than the very start. Either way, you'll get the scuttles with a girthy snowball. I'll be taking that. Draxel's definitely the one con here. I could, I would even go for Spirit Vistage since they have one magic damage champ. Spirit Vistage plus Ocean Soul is really good since Ocean Soul heals you whenever you inflict damage. Amplifying that because my Q is going to be healing me more anyways. Nice. Double kill. Well played from the Akali. She's starting to get more and more value. She tries to outplay with the plant. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Oh man. She seems mobile, but at the same time, very immobile. Her mobility is such short burst of it. Hmm, I wonder, I think she saw me. We should just take Baron. There's no reason to chase a kill there. Baron was free, I think. Not really anymore though. I'm gonna go for Scuttle Crab. Scuttle's gonna be good for setting up this next fight. The Nunu Q buff was mainly for tank Nunu, so stacking more HP gives you a bigger heal on it. Against a champion instead, it deals. It gives you less health. Against a champion instead, deals. Yeah. Heals you less versus champs, that's interesting. It does heal you 50% more regardless though, if you're low on health. I still haven't done that trick against Sivir yet. Auto attack Q, down you go buddy. Sivir's the wrong type of champion to shred a tank Nunu. I'll flash for this. York's gonna eat these kids. Got the knockup. There you go, buddy. You're inside the cage. Yep. It's tank gang. <laughs> tank metal. Let's go. York should have taken that red buff, not Jinx. She doesn't know what she's doing. York with red buff would get more value for now. Until she's th three or four item. Possible Baron. I'm down. I'm down to Baron Clown. Nunu is one of the best Baron champs in the game. Baron makes you deal 50% less damage to it if you're the one tanking it directly. York needs to let me tank. My Q does true damage, so it still does the full amount no matter what. So, yeah. That's why Nunu is so good at it. Nunu and Master Yi both. Get Mogs. We'll get that next. For now, we'll get Winged Moonplate for extra mobility. So tanky, man. Nearly 4k HP. Q heals us for nearly 500, plus 50% more if we're below half health. Against champs, it's only 280, but once again, 50% more if we are below half health. I feel like it should be the same off of champs and off of non-champs. They did that, I assume, because it's new, new mid lane. It was very oppressive for a while there. There's no way to really trade with it. That sucks team is they did not react to that one <laughs> and that's the nice thing about phase rush though even if your team like doesn't see you coming with phase rush you have the option to get away if i was aftershock nunu i might have died there very possible set up another ball preferably with scuttle crab Ooh, this is way too many i'm dead I can't move. Vagar almost gets a kill off of it. Team wasn't ready though. York's on the split. There's no reason for me to take that fight. Like, even though that it turned out, it was a dumb fight for me to take. Bot lane's pushing from his ult. He's pushing top. All I need to do is wait till his teammates are forced to react. Otherwise they lose the game by default. So they send one person top, send one person bot, and then I engage and we win for free. So ultimately that was my uh, mistake there. That is the split pusher's worst nightmare is what I just did. Basically forcing a fight while they're getting full map control. Mm 
It looks like Maiden gets turret. <laughs> I might even get the inhib. Oh, man. Oh, man. Maiden chunks. Maiden's going to town. Watch out, Senna. <laughs> Maiden's so freaking broken. It's better than Yorick. York players would rather have two Maidens than have York. Like, they would rather be a Maiden summoning Maiden than <laughs> play as that terrible champ. <laughs> oh man, her autos are so broken. I don't even think Yasuo Windwall can stop Maiden autos. I don't even know if you can blind Maiden with Teemo blind art. Is that a thing? Come on, guys. It's soul time. And this is where we win the game. Especially good for tanks, keeps you alive longer. Every second you survive, you're getting quite a bit more value out of it. And I messed it up again. I, I have not done it a single right time this game. Unfortunate. You have to drop W and then use your E's like a mil less than a quarter of a second before your W lands. Ah, yuck. Wow. She's chonking. Let's go heal off something. I guess Mogs will do that for us. Really need to get that scuttle. Kali going in deep. I'll back her up. York has pressure. We have the inhib pressures. Wait, she died. It's really gonna be really hard for them to leave their base now with triple inhib. Next Baron will probably be the end of them. Belveth is two two and a half full item, not including tier two boots. She's not. I mean, she has some, some stuff going for her. Interesting seeing that champion. I'll play her next game. I missed my E. Holy crap, I took so much damage. Goodbye, Sivir. Goodbye. Goodbye, you're all dead now. Tank Nunu, baby. Body blocked in the snare. GG's, well played. Nunu's back on top, guys. He is now officially back in the, in the running for top three best tank jungler in the game. If not number one, I'm really happy with how good he is right now. Let's take a look at the graphs. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we had a very high damage output. A lot of this came from our Sunfire and Thornmel, obviously not actually from our base damages other than our. Looking at damage taken, we've taken the most in the game at 48k. Let's look at self-minigated. Somehow Kali took more than York. Because he's splitting, self-minigated, we took 66k. The second highest was 31k. So if you add an extra 30k to our damage taken, we took almost twice as much as the second highest damage taken in the game. Pretty happy with that. Nunu does feel very tanky right now with the recent uh, tank mythic extra HP, extra 100 HP buffs and with his recent healing buffs and his lower E cooldown helps him to tank more, spread out more CC. Got really high value out of our runes here. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.